Hi, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to connect GitHub repository to a custom hosting with Git version control. So let's get started. So the first step is to purchase a custom domain name and a hosting account. Now to learn how to do that, click on the link above. Now the next step is to log into your hosting account. So on my own end here, I'm going to log into my Hammond web account. So for my Hammond web account, I'm going to click on services and I'll scroll up and I'm going to click on startup plan. I'll click on manage websites and I'll scroll up and I'll go to the C panel. So from the C panel, we'll go to the file section. Now from the file section, we see an option here called Git version control. So I'll click on Git version control. So from here, I'm going to click on create. From here, you have the option to create a repository and we have the first option here, clone a repository. And I'm going to leave this as a default settings. And here I have the option to put my clone URL. And I'll click on my clone URL. Now this URL should come from your GitHub repository account. So for my GitHub account, this is a repository I want to connect to my hosting account. So from here, you can see the CSS file, the HTML file and other files here. So I'll click on code. Then here you can copy the link you can see the link has been copied then we'll go back to our website and you paste the link on the clone url so the next option is the repository part now by default these fields will be automatically filled by default so but i'm going to change the repository part to point to a particular subdomain folder or a particular domain folder and in case you don't have a subdomain folder you can use your primary domain folder for this so here's my subdomain folder i'm connecting to and if you don't want to connect to your subdomain folder, you want to connect directly to your primary domain, you type in the public underscore HTML. You scroll up. So here, so the next option is the repository name. Now this option is the name of your repository from GitHub. So here, we'll click on create. So from here, we get the error message saying that this directory already contains a file. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to go to the public underscore HTML directory or the subdomain folder if you're using the subdomain and delete all the files there and later on I'm going to create those files so I'll go to the tools then I'll go to the file manager so from here the public underscore HTML directory is my main primary domain and I also have a subdomain folder demo tutorial.yt and facebook demo tutorial.yt now to learn how to create a subdomain name click on the link above so I'm going to click on my primary domain name and ensure I delete all the files that are here I'll click on confirm to delete. Now you go to settings to show hidden files. So I'll click on show hidden files. Now I'll click on save. So I have the .kit folder. Now I'll delete the file. And in case you see any hidden files, ensure you delete all those files. And later on, you can upload those files after your Git repository file has been uploaded successfully. So currently, my directory is now empty. So I'll go back to Git version control and put the name of my repository again. So I'll click on create. So as you can see here, my GitHub repository has been created successfully. So I'll click on manage. So from here, you can see the repository parts. So I'll click on this. Now you can see here all my files from my GitHub repository is now showing on my file manager and I'll open my custom domain name on a new tab. As you can see guys, I have a custom domain name that is pointing to my GitHub repository from my cPanel. So I'll go back to my GitHub repository. Now any changes you make on your GitHub repository, you have to go back to the cPanel and update those changes. So here, I'm going to click on my index.html file. I'm going to make a particular change. So I'm going to change the title of my H1 to go find prime. Now commit changes. Then you put your commit message here. Now commit my changes. So if I go back to my custom domain name that is pointing to my repository file and I refresh the page, you can see that the changes I made is not showing until I update those changes from the cPanel. So I'll go back to my Git version control section. So from here, I'm going to click on pull or deploy. 
then I'll scroll up and I'll click on updates from remotes. So my committed message has been updated successfully. So I'll go back to my website and I'll refresh the page. As you can see here, the changes has been updated successfully. So thank you guys for watching today's video. I hope today's video has helped you out. If you have any question, feel free to leave them on the comment section below. And don't forget to like this video, share this video, and also subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay updated with our latest videos. Thank you guys.